Hey y'all, this is George Peach Cook Some Plans here. We are coming to you today with a dessert type of recipe. We are going to be making um, chocolate dip pretzels with sea salt caramel. So what you're gonna need is you're going to need a um, foil wrapped uh, pan. I am using unsalted mini pretzels because we're putting uh, coarse sea salt on there to sprinkle on top. So I got the unsalted pretzels. I got some Smucker's caramel flavored topping. That's going to go in this little squeeze bottle. I got two bars of chocolate that we will melt. And you're going to need two forks and a glass bowl for the microwave. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to break up our bar of chocolate and get it all put into the bowl. And then we are going to microwave this chocolate for 30 seconds until it is nice and smooth. So when it's nice and smooth, we'll get back to you. All right, so after 30 seconds, you can see that it is starting to melt. Got a little bit on the sides. So we want to continue in 30 second intervals until this is completely melted. When that's done, we will be back with you. Okay, after three rounds of 30 seconds and the last one at 20 seconds, we have melted chocolate. So what we're going to do is we are going to take the pretzels and we are going to dip in the chocolate. And I will show you how that's done. So you wanna take one fork, lay a pretzel on it, dip it, take your second fork and fish it out. Let it run a little, whoop. <laughs> Let it run a little bit and then put it onto your cookie sheet. And then we're going to do, I fitted my pretzels all the way onto my pan um, before I started the chocolate process. That way I knew exactly how many pretzels would fit onto my tray and I wouldn't have extra ones that I had to get a second tray for. And I could easily do this in batches because uh, it doesn't take very hard, maybe 25 to 30 minutes for this to harden. So when we get done with this pretzel dipping, we will be back to show you what we're going to do with the next step. Okay, so after about 30 minutes in the refrigerator, we were able to take a knife and loosen up our pieces of chocolate. Now, if you look on my fingers, you will see that this chocolate right here does actually melt off a little bit on your under the warmth of your fingers. So obviously this chocolate is, ki is the kind that is going to need to be refrigerated at all times. So basically when you get done with what we're doing, you'll have to um, keep it refrigerated. So, now that all of our pieces are loosened, what we're going to do is we are going to take the squeeze bottle. I've already poured the caramel sauce into it. I've only used about maybe a fourth of the bottle. And put it in here. And we're going to pop the top off. And we're just going to take it. And we are going to drizzle some caramel sauce on it. And I'm going to do this over all of it. As we're going to, I've opened my sea salt and I am going to take a little bit of sea salt into my hand, pinch it, and run it over each one of them. Dip 
pendant pawn if you like the salty crunch from the sea salt is dependent upon how much you put on each one of your pretzels. I love the salty crunch on my pretzels and we used unsalted pretzels to begin with which is what I recommend because you really just don't need the extra salt since you're putting it you're adding it to it so there you go I'm going to continue to add the salt to my pretzels and when we are done we're going to put this back into the freezer I'm sorry the refrigerator and we are going to let this harden back up for approximately 20 minutes and then we'll take it out and then we will put them in a container to keep in the, keep in the fridge and take them out as we want them. Okay, and we've salted everything, caramelized everything. We're gonna throw this back in the refrigerator for 20 minutes and as stated, get it into a container to go ahead and stay in the refrigerator since this chocolate is the kind that melts really easily under any kind of warmth for your hand. I hope y'all enjoy this. Give it a try. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned for more videos to come. Y'all have a wonderful day.